This is like a double whammy automation. I'm very excited to show you what it does. I've been thinking about this for a long time. How can we get data from an organization, whether that be in PDFs or docs or images and summarize it all and put it into a centralized place? I'm thinking, especially for training a chatbot. And this is one component of that. And this is starting to use ChatGPT's vision. Now, what happens here is this is specifically focused on PDFs and I've got a specific drive where PDFs can be uploaded to it. The file is downloaded and what happens next is a Google Doc is created, a blank Google Doc. And this is where it gets really exciting because this actually starts acting like a memory reserve for ChatGPT as we are processing some of this data. And it kind of only came to me as I was process as I was creating this automation, like, oh wow, we're actually almost creating a memory bank. In Make, it always follows the higher level first. So Cloud Convert is converting that PDF into JPEGs. And we have a repeater that it's just continuously doing it for however many pages they are. Getting a file and uploading it into a Google Drive. So now we also have a Google Drive with these images for the single pages of the PDF. Then one by one, those pages are fed into GPT Vision with a prompt asking to extract all of the information from the PDF. Now these are not PDFs with simple, with simply just text. There's lots of images and visuals, and that's why we simply cannot copy and paste the text from the PDF. This is a visual PDF that needs to be analyzed using Vision. And every single document is then added as a new paragraph or extended upon the new Google Doc that was created, this like memory bank. Now, once all of these pages have gone through this flow and been added to this Google Doc, it then goes to this next level and it retrieves all of this information because now ChatGPT has this huge 120K context window. We can just dump this huge Google Doc information into ChatGPT4 Turbo and ask it to do anything we want. So we can summarize it into a one pager. We can turn it into a communication style guide, which is what I'm actually doing with this particular scenario. And from there, we're creating a new document. So this is going to be like our final version and then deleting the original like memory bank that we created. This is really interesting. I think this is <laughs> progressing into a way that you know, we can leverage something as simple as Google Docs as a memory bank for ChatGPT, but simply as we run through automations, dump it in there, dump it in there, dump it in there. And then at the end, when we need to gather it all, just retrieve that whole document, feed it through in this large context window and get a desired output. So as I said, this is the beginning of this, this automation, but I wanted to share it with you because I think it opens up a whole world of possibilities. And ultimately, I'd like to expand it that any any documents or other images that are uploaded to this Google Drive also get fed through this loop. And somehow we centralize this training data or some type of centralized document that updates in real time or with some human in the loop feedback to ensure that these training materials are up to date. So if you've got any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.